So I've had a few people ask me, how do I use a TFTP server to load files to Cisco IOS or ASAs? And I just thought I'd make a video, a quick video, to show people who've never done it before or don't fully understand it, how it works. It's very simple. All you need is a TFTP application. Uh, most of them are free. You can go to SolarWinds website. I'm on SolarWinds website now. Uh, and download a free one. I'll just show you how to do that. So SolarWinds.com forward slash downloads. Then scroll down here to free web tools. Here we go. TFTP server. Download that and then load it up. And you have something that looks like this. Boot it up, install it. It'll install it as a service onto your Windows machine. Um, configure, you can choose what uh, TFTP root directory. So this is the directory that. Uh, a TFTP client such as a Cisco router or switch will access to gain files um, or to copy the files over so all the files you want to copy you have to place in this folder right here um, and then you can allow you know put some security on allow only specific IP address to send or receive files um, stop or start the service right here when when you're not using it I tend to stop the service it doesn't stop automatically um, or you could change in the Windows services settings to a manual startup and then you choose when to start it. Um, so I'm just going to show you a quick uh, um, quick demonstration of how to copy a file from the uh, TFTP server, which is my laptop, to a Cisco access point. And before you start, all you'll need to do is make sure that UDP, UDP port 69 is allowed through your TFTP server's firewall. In my case, it's through the Windows 7 firewall. I've allowed uh, UDP port 69 through the firewall. Um, or you could just turn the firewall off temporarily. I don't advise that, obviously. Security risk, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know the drill. So what you'll need to do is, first of all, is uh, note the IP address of your TFTP server. Um, and then without further ado just do copy TFTP flash so you can copy it to um, startup config directly if you had a configuration on in your TFTP root folder you go directly from TFTP to start configuration then reload the access point you don't need to go and then copy it from flash to startup config um, so what are we saying here we're saying oh Bring it back. We're saying copy from our TFTP server to our flash on whatever device it might be switch, router, access point. Um, this command syntax is the same for an ASA as well. So if we push enter, um, address or name of remote host 10 10 uh, 71 is me. Source file name is demonstration.cfg. Destination file name, you can change that if you like. So what have we done there? So we are so the access point is accessing the TFTP server, which is my laptop, and it's it's trying to copy this file here, demonstration.cfg, loading the file to Flash, and it's unless it's done that 13 bytes. So if we now do a show Flash, we should be able to see our demonstration.cfg. Um, this applies, as I said, to Cisco routers, switches, uh, ASAs. Um, you can do it from GUI on most things. The ASA GUI is actually pretty cool. Um, you can just load directly from your laptop um, via HTTP. You can upload via HTTP rather than using TFTP and you can browse the uh, Windows file system which makes it even easier. And what you can also do is copy from the TFTP client, so the Cisco router switch AP, whatever, back to the TFTP server and all you do is copy from flash or wherever it is on the device to TFTP and we just say source file name uh, what could we do, we do env files, let's try that one and address the name remote host, that's me again 10 to 10 to destination file, env files and it's copied back you know that's useful for when you want to back up configurations on your devices easily and quickly rather than you know doing a show run and trying to copy the configuration um, but yeah thanks for watching 
I hope you found the video informative. As I say, it's aimed as beginners. People just ask me how does it work. Um, so I thought it might be useful for people just getting into Cisco and trying to make the lives a bit easier. Uh, if you've got any requests, please leave them in the comments or um, I comment on my channel. Thanks for watching.